Hi, my name is Dr. John DeYard, and I want to talk to you today about how to live in sync with the natural cycles according to Ayurveda. At lifespa.com, where we prove ancient wisdom with modern science, I talk a lot about circadian rhythms, how we are so desperately needing to reconnect to the natural rhythms of nature, something in Ayurvedic medicine I talked about for thousands of years. Now modern science is telling us that it will it'll revolutionize medicine as we know it. So I've written a ton of articles at LifeSpot.com about circadian science and melatonin and the light dark cycle, so please check that out. But today I want to give you the details of an Ayurvedic routine. When the sun sets and the sun rises, the cycles begin and end. So let's start with sunset, for example. I'm start with sunrise. Sunrise at six o'clock, let's say. From six o'clock till 10, what's called kapha increases in the environment. Kapha is the spring quality, the earth, the water quality. Remember, every cycle in nature starts with spring. Spring is the first cycle of nature's new year. So in the, in, in a, in the daily cycle, we have spring or kapha increasing. Kapha is heavy, increases muscular strength. We should be doing more of our physical activity between six o'clock and 10 o'clock. Most of the people who exercise on a regular basis do it first thing in the morning. Very time for us to get the body moving, use our physical strength before it gets too hot. We do our digging and our plowing of the fields and all that heavy labor in the cool morning hours. And the muscles are in fact stronger during that time. Pretty cool, right? Then about 10 o'clock till two o'clock, this is the digestive time. The sun's in the middle of the sky, the digestive strength is the most effective. Studies now show that if you eat a bigger meal in the middle of the, middle of the day compared to eating little meals throughout the day or compared to eating uh, a bigger supper, uh, you lose significantly more weight. The science is pretty clear. We digest more effectively in the middle of the day. So most traditional cultures around the world, and even us in America before we became industrialized as agriculturalists, we had big meals in the middle of the day, something that most cultures pretty much still adhere to. We'll talk more about what they do in Europe in a second, but they still, even in Europe, have bigger meals in the middle of the day and they stop and they take time and they relax. So this is the time of day we should be thinking about making our meal count. Because if you don't, and you go into the afternoon between two o'clock and six o'clock, this is what's called the vata time of the day. Vata is the nervous system, it's the air, the wind. Pitta, the digestive strength is the fire, it's the summer time of the day where we are very active in digesting and, and delivering nutrition. But in the afternoon, the brain comes in and goes, I want 80% of my blood sugar and I want it right now. And you add a salad in front of your computer, there's no gas in your tank. The brain just goes, whoa, I need some fuel. It starts borrowing money, it pulls down the menu. How do I get my blood sugar from down here to up here? How do I start feeling good again? I'm feeling tired and lethargic. So people start passing dark chocolate and candy and cookies and, and Starbucks lines get really long at three or four in the afternoon. We start craving stuff at that time of the day because the brain is saying, give me some fuel or you want a nap. If you don't feel right between two, three, four, five, and six in the afternoon, then you have a blood sugar crash, which is triggering your brain to send an alarm bell that says, hey, I need something to get from down here to up here and make me feel good. And however you're so inclined to do it, you will. Could be a chip, could be a cookie, could be a coffee, could be a candy bar, a jelly bean, whatever it is, we're gonna probably, our brain's gonna let us know, I need a Snickers bar or an ice cream cone, whatever it might be. So those are the day cycles, okay? And that's the time we should feel really good in the afternoon. I know it's crazy. We should finish our day with the same energy as we started if we're doing it right. And that's the signpost of that success. I've written many articles about the details of these cycles um, in my, at my, on my website at lifespot.com. And of course, I wrote a book called The Three Season Diet, uh, which is all about living in sync with these natural cycles as well. Then sunset happens between six o'clock at night and 10 o'clock at night, kapha, the spring quality comes again, but this time it's there to lower your cortisol levels, get you to go to sleep at night. So it's starting to dial down cortisol and melatonin levels are starting to kick in to get you to go to sleep. And at 10 o'clock, the fiery time of day comes in, uh, the pitta time of night, which is between 10 o'clock and two, where the liver comes in, the janitor comes in and cleans floors and windows and washes everything, cleans and detoxifies you. 
This is the role of melatonin. It gets you to sleep so the janitor, the melatonin, which is in fact the janitor, can actually do its work. So melatonin isn't just a sleep hormone, it's a hormone that gets you to sleep so it can then do its job, which is to detoxify you and stimulate the release and activity of other detoxifying agents like superoxide dismutase and glutathione and catalase, other enzymes that the liver makes are driven and supported by the melatonin production. So we have to have a full dose of that melatonin to stay youthful and young and detoxify us every night. And that happens between, between 10 o'clock and two. And then at two o'clock, the vata time comes in again. Now, if you don't have enough melatonin and that vata time comes in two or three o'clock in the morning, boom, you're gonna pop up and wake up because you didn't have enough energy to sedate yourself into the night. And that's really important. So this is why I've written so many articles lately about melatonin, 10 ways to boost your melatonin levels naturally, ways to, uh, what foods you can eat to amp up your melatonin levels. So many things we can do to bring that back into balance because your melatonin, which is your night hormone, regulates about 12 different hormones in your body. It's three billion years old. Pretty much every other hormone, maybe even us, have evolved around that hormone, which regulates the light-dark cycles. That's how we got here, by an understanding night and day and summer and winter. We needed to have some preparation for that to be here today. So those are the daily routine cycles in the article associated with this video at lifespot.com. I go into some detail, more detail, where you can see how to begin to live downstream with the cycles and finish your day with the same energy as you started and wake up feeling ready to go, not tired, stiff, and lethargic. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Viard. Hi, did you like this video? Do you like our content here at Life Spa? You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash John Viard right here and get this valuable content every week in your inbox. This recording is brought to you by Life Spa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.